So I showed you guys this when I first bought it, my Fisher ATV slash mower lift. And uh, I believe I demonstrated it with the Z425 that I had. Well, I wanted to do it again with this uh, 920M so you can get a better look at uh, the weight that it'll handle because this mower probably weighs twice as much as that 425 did. So I'm going to pull the mower up on to the lift and lift it up to maximum height show you what it'll do. Now I did not set my parking brake because as the lift goes up the rear wheels are going to need to roll forward and I also do not have any kind of a safety strap attaching the mower to the lift which I really need I just don't have it with me. So uh, just bear with me with those two things in mind. So as you can see, that really gets it up there. Um, I believe it's 23 inches of lift. And of course you would not want to operate under this without the safety strap on or without the machine's safety brake set, which I did set it once I got it to the right height. So I'll uh, take the camera down and show you what it looks like from underneath. As you can see, that's got a really good work height on it. And the way the platform is built, you can easily get underneath the entire deck with a creeper or a crawler. Uh, have plenty of room to work. And like I said, this is a this is a very heavy commercial mower, uh, you know, full size commercial mower. So if it can handle that, it can handle just about anything. Uh, I'll be doing a video soon with it lifting my 850 Polaris four-wheeler as well because because this is also a ATV lift and you can see that right there that uh, that I-beam shape is the ATV lift you just take this crossbar out that has the, the pieces on it for the mower and all you have left is that center I-beam and you put that right in the middle of your chassis on your four-wheeler or motorcycle and away you go. So anyway, uh, really liking this thing. It was well worth the money. Uh, money well spent. So I highly recommend this lift. I bought it at Harbor Freight. I'm not sure where else you can purchase it. Um, but it was around 220 after tax, and it's uh, it's made for heavier mowers. I believe the I believe it was a 750 pound weight capacity, so so definitely well built. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys.